Hey everybody. Alright, Joe Brown Sexman here. And welcome back. I mean welcome. This is Never Planet 2. Today I'm going to be playing Little Planet 2. This is my pod. Yeah, I know it's dark, but I like it dark. So today I'm going to show you a level I created in here. So here we go. Let's see. Really? I'll go to my earth. Is that looks easier. These are clothes I created. Where is it? I didn't create that. It's Bloody Mary. There we go. This I created this. If you guys want to look it up? Is oh, somebody said it's just a sad story. I got a comment on, on, on it already. Ha! Huh. Okay, well, let's play it. This is the story of Bloody Mary. It says, um, for a description, I'll read through this. The story of the Bloody Mary. All that. Somebody's excited to comment on it. It's a, it's a story. So, here we go. This is, I created this level. Huh. I got four people to like it. Yeah, yeah. Three people to like it, and four people, fourteen people played it. So here we go. This is my level. Okay. The guy is saying, "Come on, just you was, you just say it." Daniela. Fine. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Okay, this is supposed to be me. I read the everything. Hey everyone, welcome. Today I will tell you the story of Bloody Mary. Let's dive into it. Let us go behind the legend and find out why they called her Bloody Mary. The legend of Bloody Mary. She lived in the forest in a tiny cottage and sold herbal remedies for a living. T folks living in the town nearby called her Bloody Mary and said she was a witch. None did cross the old crone for fear that their cows would go dry. Their food stores rot away before winter. Their children take sick of Fever or many number of thing, terrible things, an angry witch could do to her neighbors. Then the girls in the village began to disappear, one by one. No one could find out where they had gone. Grief-stricken families searched the woods, the local. Buildings and all the houses and barns, but there was no sign of the missing girls. A few brave souls even went to Bloody Mary's house, home in the woods, to see if the witch had taken the girls, but she denied any knowledge of the disappearances. Still, it was noted that her haggard appearance had changed. She looked younger, more attractive. The neighbors were suspicious, but they could find no proof that the witch had taken their young ones. They came the night of the when the daughter of the miller huh, household rose from her bed and walked outside, following the enchanting sound. An enchanting sound only she could hear. The miller's wife had a toothache and was. In the kitchen, between a tooth when the girl left the house. She screamed for her husband and followed the girl out the door. The miller came running in his nightshirt. Together they tried to restrain the girl, but she kept breaking away from them. 
and heading out of town. The desperate cries of the miller and his wife broke the woke the neighbors. Suddenly, they they came to an to assist a frantic couple. Suddenly. A sharp-eyed farmer gave a shout and pointed towards a strange right at the end of the wo edge of the woods. A few townsmen followed him out into the field and saw Bloody Mary standing beside a large tree, holding a magic wand that was pointed towards the miller's house. She was glowing with an unearthly light as she set her evil spell upon the girl. The townsmen grabbed their guns and pitchforks and ran toward the witch. When she heard the commotion, Bloody Mary broke off her spell and fled back into the woods. The far-sighted farmer had loaded his gun with silver bullets in case the witch ever came after his daughter. He took, now he took aim and he shot at her. The bullet hit Bloody Mary in the hip and she fell to the ground. The angry townsmen leapt upon her and carried her back to into the field, where they had built a huge bonfire and burned her at the stake. As she burned, Bloody Mary screamed a curse at, at the villagers. If anyone mentioned her name aloud before a mirror, she would send her spirit to avenge herself upon them for her terrible death. When she was dead, the villagers went to the house in the woods and found the unmarked graves of the little girls the witch, evil witch had murdered. She had used her blood to make herself younger again. again. The end. And then there's a collectible right there. You got a sack bot. And then there's a huge figure of Bloody Mary right there. And that's the end of the level. That's it.